Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Angela333. I hope you're well, you're healthy, you're safe. A few things while I'm shuffling here. Uh, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If it resonates, you can check it out. Secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that info is below. And then lastly, uh, there is a donate button uh, for uh, Ukrainian uh, aid for those Ukrainians uh, that are needing emergency assistance. My heart goes out to them. Uh, it is a nonprofit organization. The fundraiser is through YouTube, so they handle collecting the money. They handle distributing the money. There's no fees involved, all of that kind of stuff, all right? Uh, if everybody just donated a dollar, that could go a long way uh, collectively. You know, if, uh, you know, I get a thousand, you know, more than, I get thousands of views a day on my videos. Just imagine if everybody donated a dollar, okay? So everybody's not in the position to even donate a dollar. So if you can donate, I do appreciate it. If not, um, you know, it's okay. Uh, you know, you have your own things going on. So with that, Sagittarius, let's just get down to your reading. Just want to say thank you uh, for all your support, your love. I do appreciate you. Um, appreciate your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Okay, it does help me to connect with your energy and helps me grow. So with that, Sagittarius, let's uh, pull the love energy for you. What's going on for Sagittarius? Energy here for Sagittarius. Okay, so we're pulling the overall energy, and then we're going to get the challenge of the situation and the potential outcome. And then I will look at how your person is thinking or feeling about you. Okay, so let's see here. Okay. All right. Definitely see there was some sort of hurt or loss here in your situation. Okay. But what I want to say here, I do feel with this nine of pentacles. All right. You know your worth. Okay. Definitely showing me here, you standing in your abundance. You may be doing very well in your career or your money. Maybe you're working hard here. But I also get here that there is somebody here uh, from your past, okay? I feel like that uh, potentially this could be you missing them or them missing you. You do have the Three of Pentacles. I do feel that there is potentially hope here, right, to work things out between you and this person. Okay, so let's dive into the reading what I see here, okay, it can also be a new soulmate coming in here too. I do see the potential here of new love, but I also see the potential here of healing um, a past situation, or maybe you're just going through healing. We'll see what this is about. So you have the Ten of Swords. So it definitely feels like an energy. Uh, there's a situation I do pick up on that you may have recently come out of some sort of breakup or ending um, or some sort of hurtful or painful situation. So let's clarify what that is. Thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? All right, so we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords, okay? And bottom of the deck here, you have the Moon card, yeah. I feel like you're still processing the emotions of this situation. I feel like maybe you're, you're trying to find some clarity here, okay? Maybe seek the truth about a situation. But you have the Ten of Wands, you have the Five of Pentacles, and you have the Four of Swords, okay? So you may definitely be struggling with this, okay? Whatever the situation is for you, it does feel like that was quite painful. Could even be a betrayal. Um, but, you know, you may be struggling with the fact that... Uh, you're, you're spending time alone. Maybe you're spending time alone. This could be somebody who ghosted you, right? Or didn't see your worth is really what I'm picking up there. Now, you also have here the Two of Cups, okay? So it does feel there is somebody here that uh, there is a very strong connection between you and this person, okay? Let's see here why the Two of Cups is here, please. Why is the Two of Cups here, please? 
So we have, oh, the Three of Swords. What's interesting is you have the Three of Swords here as well. Three of Swords, the Tower, the Emperor, the Four of Cups. Okay, interesting, interesting energy here. Knight of Cups, okay. So I feel this person here, this person that hurt you, this person here that betrayed you, okay? I'm going to read this different ways because I feel like for some of you, there could be a new love here. For some of you, um, I feel that this person is returning, okay? I feel the connection was very deep. Um, I feel like, you know, you connected with this person, just not, you know, by their appearance or physically, but I feel that there was a very strong uh, mutual connection between the two of you, okay? You saw this, per this person as a partner. I feel like you weren't expecting, right? You weren't expecting this heartbreak. Uh, maybe you didn't even realize how much you felt for this person is what I'm picking up here as well. All right, but what I do see here is you have the Emperor and you have the Four of Cups. Now, I'm going to say for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who was a bit stubborn, right? Maybe somebody here rejected you. But I also get the, the potential here that this person I feel out of the blue, okay, maybe coming back around to heal things. And the reason why I feel this is there's a cup being offered there, but there's also an energy here of hesitation. All right, so you may be not feeling completely content about what happened in your situation, not too sure if this is somebody that you want to accept their cup of love, but it also can be a feeling of being rejected because you do have the Knight of Cups here, all right? And I say this all the time, Sagittarius, you got the Four of Cups here. Whether you know it or not, there's always there are people around you who are interested. I always pick up that vibe in your readings. So... What I'm going to say is that this person, I feel um, out of the blue, is going to uh, come around. They may have already reached out to you, okay? But I also get there's potentially here a new offer here with this Knight of Cups. We also have the Page of Wands here, which can indicate a new energy, but it can't just be communication. We're going to clarify. You also have here the Fool card. So I feel whether it's somebody new, whether it's this person here, um... You got the page of pentacles as well there is a message okay you're going to receive a text or a message here out of the blue that you're not expecting and you got the knight of pentacles see i told you there's two energies there so some of you i feel here you know there could be a new person you're communicating with um potentially there could be somebody new coming in around the time that this other person comes back around <laughs> getting complicated here Sagittarius let's see why the page of wands is here okay why is that page of wands here now I want to say we have water energy we have uh, fire we have air and we have earth we have all the elements here but we do also have strong uh, Aries energy so why is this page of wands here please why is the page of wands here please okay so you have the nine of swords you had the Page of Cups. You have the Knight of Wands. Okay. Now we've seen three knights. There's definitely some sort of change that is happening uh, right now, Sagittarius. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, you do have the Sun card. You have strong Leo energy. I feel what's happening, Sagittarius, there's definitely changes I feel happening here in your love life, okay? I feel potentially whether you know about the opportunities or you don't know about other people, but I feel like you've got more than one person here, and I've been picking up that energy for quite some time, okay? I feel that you're going to hear from this person where there was some sort of hurt, betrayal in the past, okay? You're hesitant about it. Maybe you're not feeling completely content how things played out, what happened in the situation, okay? Now, with this Page of Wands, I see that communication is going to have you a bit worried here, okay? I feel that this person's going to reach out to you. They're going to send something simple, 
um, page of cups energy, you know, it can be a flirty text. It can just be a text. How are you? Something simple, something genuine. All right. Um, and then you have here the Knight of Wands. Okay. Now this can be, you know, I, I have sometimes difficulties in your reading because I've been picking up more than one energy, but I feel a new energy here and I feel um, maybe uh, the Knight of Wands can be a new love coming into your life as well. Right. So there's definitely a lot of communication here that's coming towards you. And I feel like you're, you kind of don't know what to do with it. All right. Now, you do have the Sun card here, and you have the Hangman, and here's your energy, Sagittarius. You have the Temperance. I feel there's an energy here of you kind of feeling in limbo, kind of feeling a little bit stuck here, trying to figure out your feelings and your emotions. I feel around this situation, okay, whether you're open to... Um, you know, kind of maybe revisiting it because I'm going to say in your challenge position, you do have the judgment card. So there's a judgment call here and I feel like the judgment call is whether you're going to revisit the past or not. All right. So let's go to your challenge here. All right. Now it's interesting because you have the three of swords on the bottom, or I mean at the bottom of the deck, the potential, potential here, which tells me there's a healing. Okay. There's a healing, which is very positive. Uh, it could be a healing with this person. It may not be. We'll see what it is. Okay, we are going to ask what this person is thinking and feeling about you as well. Now, why is the judgment card here, please? Why is the judgment card here, please? We have the two of swords. We have the seven of wands. We have the magician. And we have the Ace of Cups, okay? Oh my gosh, and look at that, yeah. Six of Pentacles, right? I feel, uh, Sagittarius, that, you know, ultimately the challenge here is you making a decision. This energy's been coming up a lot in your readings for quite some time. I feel the challenge here is you making a decision whether this is a situation that you wanna revisit again, okay? There is a very strong connection with this person, and that's probably why this is very hard for you to make a decision, okay? You have the Two of Swords, okay? Again, a very indecisive decision. You know, can be, you know, a not knowing here, holding back type of energy. You also have here the Seven of Wands, okay? And what I feel with the Seven of Wands is, is you're not too sure, um... If this is a connection, I feel, where the two of you can overcome some difficulties, I feel, of the past, right? What has happened? What has transpired here? You do have the magician as well. Again, I feel like you're very indecisive here, and, and I'm really getting the energy of whether to open your heart up to this again, whether to be vulnerable again is really the energy that I'm getting. So I feel like you're very guarded, all right, uh, with this person. Uh, with the past here, you know, for some of you, it can just be you've been heartbroken, right? Um, and open yourself up and being vulnerable may be a challenge right now. And you may be experiencing, you know, going through some healing here, learning from the past, learning maybe some life lessons here, okay? So let's see here uh, why that Three of Swords is here, okay? There's a healing that's happening here. Why is the Three of Swords here, please? Why is the Three of Swords here? You have the Four of Wands. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. And you have the Two of Cups. There's a lot, I feel like you still have feelings for this person. I feel, uh, you, you know, you still very much think about this person here. I feel like you're trying to use your intuition, your wisdom here. Um, very strong Virgo energy. So you have the Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Okay, what you got here is 
I feel that you got this person coming back around, right? Somebody I feel may come in with an apology. Somebody I feel here too um, who sees you as a partner. They see you as somebody they could be with for the long term. I don't know what happened in your situation. Maybe this person didn't value you in the past, you know, with this five of pentacles. Maybe this person here, you know, had their own, you know, fears, beliefs, what have you, okay? But I feel like this person's coming back around to heal things with you. Um, with that Knight of Cups, you may even get an apology, all right? But I feel like this person definitely sees you as somebody they could be with for the long term. And I feel you're hesitant, right? Because there was some sort of hurt or pain associated with this person or what has happened since you know the you and this person were together so let's see here uh what this person is thinking or feeling about you okay i feel like you know there may be somebody else flirting with you or somebody new coming into your life but i really feel um there is um an opportunity here for you and this person to revisit uh, this connection and this relationship. Okay, so let's see what this person is thinking or feeling about you, Sagittarius. All right, so we have the full card. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. Wow, some repeating energies here right from the first cards here and the wheel and the bottom of the deck here we have the six of pentacles okay so i pick up this energy that this is somebody here um i definitely get here that they want a new beginning here they're not sure how things are going to transpire how things are going to play out but i feel like they're hopeful for the future I feel like they want to leave the baggage in the past um, because, you know, uh, and you may not want to, but this person I feel does. This is someone I feel who's done a lot of thinking, you know, since you and this person where things have, have been over here, okay? This person may have even lied. They may have even cheated, right? Um, you got the five of pentacles here as well. So this is someone, you know, they may have avoided you in the past um, for whatever reason. They may have ghosted you. They may have, you know, like I said, there may have been some sort of betrayal here. But I feel like this is somebody here uh, with the wheel. It does feel like they want to put all of that energy in the past, okay? And they want a new beginning here. Right, I always see the devil here, right? It's shifting here. And as it shifts, the devil falls off, okay? So whatever energy there was, okay, around you and this person that was negative here, I feel like this person wants a new beginning, right? I feel like this person is wanting to put in the effort, wanting to put in the work here. So Sagittarius, um, I'm going to take this to the extent of we're going to dig deeper into their actions, their intentions. We'll get some love notes and guidance. Uh, I will take a look at new love. We'll see how that plays out as well. So I hope to see you there, Sag. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.